Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of The Darkest Hour. Tonight is episode 63, with old school guest Augison and a new guest, Sparky Kawa. Two badass long sworders present tonight. Let's say out of the boys. I guess they. What's up, guys? What? Yeah. No. Oh. What's up, gents? How's it going? Hey. What up? Doing good. Howdy. Always good. Hell yeah. Big chillin', as Augie would say. Yeah, big chillin', baby. Big fucking chillin'. Augie, good to have you back, as always. I think you have returned as a guest more so than anyone else at this point. Yeah, you're right, yeah. Which is awesome. You guys got me on here a lot. Love it. It's always fun. Fucking OG himself. That's a yappin', dude. <laughs> <laughs> Grandmaster Augie. And of course, our new fresh guest. Sparky Kawa, the green lizard himself. Good to see you. Looking good tonight, Sparky. Greetings. Thank you. <laughs> You're looking very green today. <clears throat> looking good. Before the call, before you guys joined, I was admitting to Sparky that I'm a red lizard. And, yeah. he, and he said there's a truce oh. tonight. There's a truce tonight, so it's cool. A red lizard is a dead lizard, Selma. So oh, dang. Fuck you, Jay. <laughs> How about that, dude? Huh? I'm just saying, blue's the best. I don't make the rules. Yeah. Sparky, blue's you gonna take best. that? You gonna take that, Sparky? Yeah. Blue's the mm. best. Blue lizard gang. It's okay. I get a lot of a lot of colorful lizard hate. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I know what the real color is. It's all right. Okay. Yeah, red. Uh, anyway, <laughs> gents, good to have you here. We're we're back for another episode of the Darkest Hour. Um, I've been playing a lot. Recently, well, I've been trying to. The game's been down a shitload, <laughs> which we can discuss. <laughs> I uh, have heard. But I've been trying to play a lot so I can uh, at least get to Exemplar <laughs> for this season's rewards to get that, that frozen over campfire. But before we get into all that shit, Donnie, what's going on? How are you? Life's good, man. <clears throat> um, yeah, not much. I really haven't been playing that much at all. Waiting for Wipe. Sure. Um, my my gas is kind of out, so... Uh, yeah, hoping oh. there's some cool stuff with oh. the new, uh, the new, the new white. I think that's fair. Uh, Mr. Griffey, how are you? <clears throat> Good. I feel weird. I haven't played Dark and Darker, and I think in like eleven days. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> like for real, you haven't played it at all. I haven't touched it. Does it feel good? I've been seeing you play uh, GTRP, dude. You're in deep. <laughs> oh, I'm addicted. I, I'm. A, I ran up. You want to see my play time, bro? Hold on. Yeah, oh, yeah baby. Yeah. I got 114 addicted. hours in 11 days. Wow. Holy. That's, yeah, it's like 10 <laughs> hours a day. You are addicted. I've done my longest streams in like five months, and they're all <laughs> back to back to back to back. I respect that. Yeah. It's, it's fun I'm to. I'm a little addicted. That's good. It's fun. It's fun to find a new addiction and a new uh, content outlet. So that's good. Good shit. Um, <clears throat> also, understandable that you haven't played. I mean, Iron Mace themselves have admitted that it's a bit of a. Uh, lackluster end to the the current well, season, and that you know, essentially I we're mean, just not even waiting. That, but hasn't that server's been down for like fifty hours in the last week? Some crazy yeah, dude, number. <clears throat> you know, it's been, it's pretty bad how how much the game has been down. I know there was a complete day. I think it was like twenty five or twenty six hours, or yep. close to twenty four hours. Crazy, where the game was just down, and that I think it just came back up a couple of days ago or or a day ago. And it was, it's been down twice since then for other hot fixes. So I get it. I mean, Iron Mace is trying to uh, push and prepare for the next season, for the next wipe. So I get yeah. it. But it sucks for me, someone who barely played any HR the entire season until I saw the rewards, who now wants to get to Exemplar or Demigod to get those rewards, but I only have like three days few days max but the game keeps going down so I, i'm hoping that we see a classic iron mace move where they say hey sorry about all the downtime we're going to extend the ability to get the rewards by a day or two or a few days or something like that during the the pre-wipe uh time frame we'll see i have no idea what the case is but i hope that is the case just don't know i feel like they should just cut the entrance fee in half since it's been so fucked to be honest <sighs> yeah, yeah. I would, I would do something drastic like that if it was me. It's not up to me, but yes, I, I'm with you that they should make it as easy as possible for people that are actually gonna, that are actually willing to make that grind with only three or four days left. Three days, I think. I yeah. think, I think it's only fair. But 
not up, not up to me. Uh, Augie, how the hell have you been? What's going on in your life? What have you been up to? Have you been dadding? What's going on? So I don't. I think I haven't played in as long as Jay, roughly. Okay. Um, couple last couple of weeks were slammed, man. Uh, real life slam because I'm a nanny. I watch for. I take care of a couple twins, right? And uh, their pops is out of town, like two weeks out of every month right now for this year. So, I am. I stay over at their place, like stay in nanny to help take care of them. So, hmm. there ain't a lot of time. <laughs> Right. So we were slammed like that, but uh, I, free time came up and I didn't jump on dad. I jumped on League of Legends somehow with some old buddies who roped me in like a degenerate. So <coughs> I've been, you know, mid lane, shit talking in all chat. You got the sirens call, dude. There you go. It's Just pulling you the rocks. <laughs> yeah, it's been bad, yeah. man. It's not good. I'm kind of yeah. tweaking. So, but I yeah, guess no, I've kind of done the same thing, honestly, because yeah. I've been playing Tarkov recently. I've actually booted that up and been like, you know, why the fuck am I doing this with my life? <laughs> <laughs> Good old Tarkov. I mean, going back to League once in a while is fine. I get it. I'm, I still play TFT, like a match or two of TFT uh, every day, probably. Like in my, my morning yeah. coffee, I'll, I'll throw on a ranked match of TFT for the hell of it, you know? Yeah. But an actual yeah. game of League, it's been a while. I, that's, that's a lot. Leagues a lot. Yeah, the boys had me. They had me roped in. It was ridiculous. That's gay. At least you have some fun to do with the boys. That's that's all that matters. Um, Sparky, uh, as we stated, this is your first appearance on the podcast. It's great to have you here, sir. Um, well, thank you. I would love to get into your background and uh, sort of your content creation history, your history with Dark and Darker, all that fun stuff. Uh, but before we get into that, I just want to say. Congrats and GG with soloing the warlord in HR on a fighter with a longsword. Oh, thank oh, you yeah. very much. Holy shit, that was yeah, fucking boy. crazy to watch. <laughs> I wish I could say I was the first person to do it, but I'm not. You're not the first. Who's the first? <laughs> no, it was, I, as far as I know, <laughs> no, uh, the first order. person to do it was, it was Mad Robot. Was yeah. Sue, sir? Oh. Uh, Mad Robot in the Discord. Mad Robot, okay. Mm -hmm. He's the guy I went to uh, Demigod and Duos this season with. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, shout nice. out to him. Um, yeah, Mad's a gamer. Awesome. I Mad respect to him. I saw your video, though, dude. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you some, some partial credit for at least capturing it, but we'll give him the world's first. Um, how the fuck do you kill those ads without dying by yourself, without the cleric nuke? Because... Did you just get lucky, or were you? Was that pure Neo from the Matrix skill? Because I feel like had I attempted that, I would have died to the first volley of mobs. Like I don't even understand how you did it. Well, the secret is first you go in and you die like hundred times, <laughs> and then mm -hmm. eventually you kill all the ads, <clears throat> and then you fight a Warlord and you die a hundred times to him, and then maybe like a couple months down the road you finally get it once. You freak out. You, you didn't do the <laughs> no killing the, the mob strat, the ad strat? I did that on normals, not on high roller. Um, mm. No killing the ads. You can fight him without killing Yeah, you just ads. let him blow up, and then he eats yeah. souls, and then he gets, like, supercharged or whatever. Mm. Oh, shit. What kind of yeah. time investment is that to, like, not only, one, figure out how to fight him, but two, also run the raids to be like, all right, we got Warlord. You know what I mean? Too much. Yeah, that's <laughs> like, a lot. That's a lot. You of... can. Oh. Yeah. How many ghost kings have you killed, dude? Or how many liches have you just been like, fucking fine? Uh, <laughs> I don't solo high roller lich for sure on fighter. I don't bother with that. But ghost king, like a billion. I don't even know how many go high roller ghost kings I've killed. Hmm. Yeah. Nice. But, yeah. In the beginning of my high roller warlord video, like you can hear me complaining. I'm like, wow, finally, after 10 hours of no warlord, I get to fight warlord. Right. Like I was, I was losing it. Hmm. It's a little mm. gross. Mm -hmm. Well, it was very impressive to see. Too bad you got shit loot for it. That was not cool. But here's, here's a question. Can you repeat that? Can you do it again? How many I believe I can. Okay. Fuck yeah. Nice. We had a true internet giga chad on our hands here. Nice. Hell yeah. Yeah, I tried it for like one day and I gave up. 
I, I tried really it. Well, though. I tried it once and gave up. I was like, "This ain't happening." I was kind of beating his ass a little bit. Some of the some of the attempts. I saw I saw some of your attempts. You did pretty good. It's just kind of, sometimes he like. Uh, I'm so used to doing like the you know where he starts his attack like this and swings down. Mm. He like gives you a second. He does the fucking little spin. It gets me every time. The spin attack Instead sucks. Of, yeah, but I'm he does it for like down. his first attack. I'm not ready for it. Yeah. Uh, so we know Augie's history. We'll talk about long sword stuff and the game and all that happy shit in a little bit. But Sparky, why don't you give us a little introduction about yourself, where you're from, what you do, um, your content creation history, dark and darker, all that fun stuff, if you would not mind, sir, please. Sure. Um, well, at least as far as dark and darker is concerned, I played like, uh, I think I started in like the second playtest. Um, I wasn't streaming back then. I was just being goofy around the dungeons as fighter. Um, I didn't even like use longsword back then. I just like picked up whatever, being a weirdo. Um, but as far as like my my channel and stuff, I think I started um, my first year uh, YouTube anniversary was like, oh what the frick? Hold on, let me turn off alerts. Get out of there. Get out of my screen. No, um, <laughs> um, that was uh my YouTube anniversary was like a week ago. So my, that was my first, my first YouTube anniversary, one year old, nice. little baby. Congrats. Nice. That's awesome. <clears throat> You've seen some um, very good growth in just one year. That's awesome. Yeah. Dark and darker has been crazy. Um, yeah. I used to stream a different game called, uh, they are billions. This is RTS. <laughs> oh yeah. Cool. I love Ooh, that game's wild. It's a cool game. Yeah. I love that game, but I started all over new when I started dark and darker and over time, I actually have Wilson to thank for, I think, what I believe is like my initial growth. Because I was streaming to basically nobody for the longest time, and Wilson raided me one day, and, you know, he brought people, like, eyes to my channel, and I actually right. started growing after that. I love that. So, That's awesome. Wilson's yeah. a great guy. That's he great. really is. Thank yeah, you, Wilson. Sure. That's awesome, man. Hell yeah. Did you see that uh, Wilson, Ryan, and uh, Soap, you have a new podcast, guys? The gathering hall. Wait, oh, really? yeah. Gathering yeah. hall. The gathering hall. I did see that. That's awesome. I'm very, I'm very happy with it. I, I want to see more stuff like that. The podcast is solid. Um, those three guys have really great rapport and good chemistry. So it's been, it's been good to, to see them form that podcast group. We're gonna have them all, the three of them on actually. Um, let me see here. In July, which is cool. But nice. Anyway. Nice. Um. So. You were a content creator with uh, a different game a year ago, slid into Dark and Darker. It's going well. Um, you said you started Playtest 2? About then, I think so, yeah. Okay, so you've been around it was either for two or long three. Home. You've been around for, mm -hmm. for the majority of this ride. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, Augie, Sparky, here we are. We're coming up on apparently a very big update in a couple of weeks here, according to Iron Mace. Um, I've watched your videos. I've watched your streams. I know that you guys are both a little bit cashed out on Dark and Darker at the moment. I mean, Sparky, you're still playing it a lot for content. Augie, you know, it's been a little bit, as you just admitted. What do you think Iron Mace and the game, what does Dark and Darker need to do to reinvigorate sort of your passion? What, what do they need to do to knock out uh, the next season out of the park all that fun shit i would love to hear your opinions on it why don't we start with you mr son of the augie variety sure i mean honestly i think i'm probably easier than other people because i don't need new content i enjoy the game we got i love those caves when it dropped my boys aren't playing anymore and it's because the game's not too fun for them so we played off meta when we played trios right we played Barb, Fighter, Cleric. And we got shit stomped eight or nine times out of ten unless we absolutely massively outplayed with some random bullshit with the longsword. Right. Radio Nightshine, they're, they're fucking ghosts. I, I got a better chance of playing League of Legends with them. <laughs> and Nightshine, uh, Nightshine said he'd never play League of Legends with me. So Nightshine's is just, like really hardcore in the game for a while. Is he just he sick was? of being... Yeah being cut down by ranged or like he yeah he was sick of throwing fucking frenchmen at people you know what i mean throwing them damn throwing axes at people 
There's and he was my just baguette. like, this is, this is not fun. I'm done. I hate it. He played. So yeah. when we climbed to Demi at the end of last swipe, he switched to Ranger. Just to make it a little easier for us. You know what I mean? Because right. having him play Ranger, me on Fighter, the servers after Hotfix 31 were insanely crisp with the desync. I could not lose a melee fight. Straight up. Mm. It was insane. Our climb. And with him on Ranger and the DPS, the contest, and the duo queue, there was zero chance, unless we misplayed and died to Wizard Warlock bullshit, we fucking steamrolled, right? But, uh... And I think that's part of the issue. He's he, he doesn't want to play a, a slow bad shooter. Is what he is what he's it amounts to. So he's a little burned out on it. And and personally, I just want the balance to be a little a little better so that meta still exists. It's fine. Let people roll with buff ball. Let range be solid. But let things be a little tighter, a little closer. So there's not so big a gap between the top best meta and what else you can play. I don't need content. Sure. I need a balance pass across weapons, maybe some scaling changes, and guess what? I'm going to play every day. And honestly, from this day forward, I'm probably going to play every day because I've been itching. So, I mean, Iron Mace, Iron Mace hit it out of the park. They'll dial it in. The game's going to be great in six months. You know what I mean? So, I'm content. Just, we need a breather right now, so we're taking a breather. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, Mr. Kawa. Yes. Um... I mean, I feel like what Augie was saying was pretty true, at least on my end. Like, I do solos mostly. I don't really do duos. I don't. I absolutely don't do trios. Not because, like, I won't do trios, but it is it is not easy to find a team that actually wants to take you seriously as a longsword player. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's true. But uh, when you I say mean, that, I, do you I mean like been. top level sweaty people? Because, yeah, like okay. if I want to go in and like actually go fight people like in high gear lobbies or something like that, people will be like, "Why don't you stop playing Lizard Man? Why don't you pick up, put on a shield, stuff like that?" Like I've had, I've had those comments. I'm like, you know what? I'll just play solos. I'm good. <laughs> that sucks. Wow. Hmm. It is what it is. I guess I I play with noobs who will try anything and any build, <laughs> any skin, any gear set. Let's just get in there. But we, we typically are not playing a lot of HR, though, so it doesn't really matter that much. I didn't realize that people were that picky about loadouts and builds and shit at, the, at a higher level. I thought people were just cool with a good player joining the group or not. Am I crazy to think that, like, a sweat would just shit on someone with a longsword, though? Because like, it's not like you're a post you know what I mean? They know how to play around it and stuff. And it's yeah. decent, so... Mm. I'm not going to parry a fireball, not unless I get lucky. Not too, yeah. It'll just explode yeah. my face and basically kill me anyways. So are you, yeah. are you finding that it's mostly just like rangers and wizards that are killing you at the higher level as a longsworder? Um, not entirely, no. I do think that like between fights that I have fun in and fights that I don't have fun in, even if like, even if I lose a fight, like there's still a chance that you have fun in the fight, right? But yeah. I can't. I can't really remember a time I chased a guy for five minutes, getting shot in the legs, and then eventually fell over and died. And I was like, "Damn, bro, that was awesome." Yeah, I hate that. I hate that shit so much. It sucks. Like I, I'm with Nightshine's Augie's friend, the Barbarian. When it comes to that, being kited to death is a very, very terrible feeling. It's it's very frustrating. Um, honestly, I I, I do hope Iron Mace does more to combat against just ranged in general like i would love to see some semblance of like a cooldown like if you use uh your two francisca axes in the stack for instance after you throw that second one in the stack or you finish a stack of throwing weapons there should be not only uh, a short cooldown of or a quip time of putting new francisca axes in the slot but there should be a cooldown before you can throw them again and I think that would mm. I think that would help against throwing weapon spam. I think that if there was some semblance of uh, weapon shake or sway, if you hold a bow for longer than three seconds, stuff like that, you start adding in changes like this. They start to pile up, and then suddenly you have a slightly more balanced ranged uh, aspect of the game, which makes it a little bit more tolerable as a as a melee player. Because I I'm not a ranged guy. Like I I love my fighter. Right now, I'm, I'm playing Arming Sword Heater Shield Fighter with a crossbow. Don't get me wrong, I've gotten some crossbow kills, and I will poke with my crossbow. 
but it is the worst feeling ever when I am just shooting bolt after bolt after bolt against another trio or a duo or <laughs> someone else in a door, and we're just staring at the same door, firing back and forth at each other until A, someone gets bored or takes too many hits, or B, the swarm is pushing you or whatever, and you have no choice but to engage in melee. That shit sucks. Mm. It sucks. It's a terrible feeling. It's not. It's yeah, not it's a, fun a little gross. Play. Yeah, I'll go like one v three on wizard or like uh, barb and goblin caves. You know, just for fun and like normals. And the amount yeah. of fighters who like run away and just to pull out like a bow, it blows my mind. It happens so um, often. I'll have like I'll run Damn. into like a fighter and a rogue, and instead of running at me, they both run away, and then they bust out some to hit me still. All right. Yeah, I think it's just this about... the best way to kill either class. If you're yeah, a fighter sure. versus a wizard or a, a barbarian. Because if you're not building PDR oh, yeah. fighter and you don't have a way to parry him, I mean, you're probably just going to get W keyed by that barbarian. Um, yeah, you have no wizard... choice but to chip down people. Yeah, at that point. Yeah. And then if you're fighting a wizard, if you do try to chase them, they're probably just going to run away. <laughs> and <laughs> so you're better off just flinging an arrow that moves a lot faster than a fireball. Hmm. What yeah. about like throwing stamina? Where you, you know you throw your first axe full speed and it just gets worse and worse. If you spam That'd be interesting. I'm not yeah. Start limp, limp dick in the throws like five feet ahead. Hmm. That's one way to look uh, yeah. at it. That's one way to look at it. Yeah. I, I, I got I got kind of a, a weird take on this. I, I really think like in my opinion, like we, we we complain about Francesca axes a lot, right? Because you know it's it's fucking obnoxious. But isn't it really more of like a symptom of the fact that you just don't want to be in melee range at all of a barbarian? Like, if they yeah, get into melee range, you die. So it's like, the reason they're having to do that so heavily is because no one wants to get even anywhere near them, you know? Ma'am. Yeah, I think, I think it comes down the... to there being an issue with hit recovery and blocking and defense. Yeah. Like, whenever... Like there's not a lot of good defensive options with the game. Yeah. Not at all. I mean, just being a base player with a, a regular shield without any sort of perks associated with defense or shields means that I can block and barely recover from a hit from a, a, from a barbarian before I have to right-click and raise the shield again just to barely be able to defend the next attack. That sucks. Yeah, like that's if, 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 I, they don't, if they don't drag around it too and hit you and then hit your shield as well. Yeah, so yeah, if, if I'm blocking and allowing myself to distance myself from the barbarian or to get a counterattack in or pull off a cool play because I'm blocking that attack, that's great. But... If I can only block for the sake of maybe getting the chance to raise my shield again faster to negate the next hit, and that's all I'm capable of doing when I'm playing defense or using a shield, that's not good. Because even when I'm on my arming shield or arming sword shield fighter, who has all the perks, you know, shield mastery, all that shit, uh, counterattack, all that stuff, even then, I feel like in PvP, particularly against like another fighter or a barb, even with shield master and all that stuff, unless I'm like really on it, I don't have enough time to be offensive at all. If I have decided to be defensive and start blocking their hits, I feel like I'm, it's only a matter of time before they're going to start aiming for my legs and killing me. And then I have to choose yeah. then at that point with some health gone to then go on the offensive and start attacking back. I, I wish that there was, well, I've, we've, been, we've been talking about this for over a year. I wish shields actually worked better. I wish recovery mm -hmm. time was a little better. And I wish that there was, uh, you know, increased time to kill and, and more opportunities for skill expression in melee combat. I think that would all help tremendously. Because right now, when someone runs yep. up on you, like you were saying, you're pretty much dead, you know, especially Barbarian. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what Barbarian is. It's just a W key class. You're just fucking lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, true. It's a good description. Yeah. Do, do you think um do you think it would be like a good idea for Iron Mace to introduce like a a semi parry mechanic to all shields where if you block at the last second, like you raise your shield right as they're about to hit you, you get extra block resistance. But if you hold your shield up for longer, you lose more block resistance. So you could mm -hmm. actually block a warm all like like you parry it kind of, you don't get staggered as much. Yeah, like mm. a active nice. buff timer yeah. for impact resist. That's a cool idea. I'd love like, a, cool like a kick interrupt. I think that'd be great. Like if you kick someone while they're swinging, like you can interrupt them, push them back <laughs> a little bit. Make this into fucking chivalry. You know, maybe that's a bad <laughs> idea, but I think that's 
I think, like, you know, we talk about how we don't want the game to be, like, Mordhau, right? Like, here's Mordhau, and then, like, here's Chivalry. You know, it's, it's a little bit down, but it's kind of in the same area. But yeah. just more defensive options would be nice. I don't know. I like Sparky's idea. I think that I think testing something like that at, at the very least could be cool. I think cool. Uh, I think so. Right. Well, the so don't, they already don't work. So you might, might I know. As well <laughs> I know. Yeah. It's shields. What are you going to do? Make them not work more? Yeah, they definitely yeah. need an update. <laughs> they need an update and they need to be messed with more. I had something I wanted yeah. to ask. but uh, Oh, so right now the test server, it's gated behind Hold the Line Edition, right? Mm hmm. Not yes. useful. I'm pretty yes. sure. Yeah, so I think they need to get they need to drop that and open up the test yep. server for Agreed. literally anyone. And there needs to be some semblance of incentive somehow. I don't know what that is, to get people to actually play on the test server. Because how do you I mean I feel for Iron Mace when people there's only eighteen people on the test server testing out something new or the druid or whatever the hell it is. You can't really get a true test out of that you need you need i a, mean there was like a thousand when the druid came out or whatever yeah but for how many hours a handful of hours like yeah, one because day there was yeah there was, was there much to test i know that's, in all yeah. reality was there really much to test you couldn't in fact you couldn't test. you're right so there needs to be there needs to be incentive to keep people on the test servers there needs to be more people in the test servers which means don't gate it behind the hold the line edition or whatever well, it's it's also like just go look at like wild tests. Right? Mm. You're gonna make us level up. You're gonna make us farm gold. You're gonna make us get a gear. Give it all. Just give it to us. If you want us to test shit, don't make us play the game twice. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm. That's a very yeah. important. That was point. like the biggest problem. Truly. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so boys, I mean, we talked. I know Jay and Donnie and I talked about this a little bit last episode, but we have new guests on. So, um, what do you guys want to see in the uh, the wipe and the patch next week? Just in terms of like content, I know we've talked about like what kind of changes you would want to see in the game, but what uh, what do you think would be exciting to do or try or or play in the wipe? Anything you guys are excited about? Even though it's kind of an air of mystery of what's happening. <laughs> I got Ice three bis. guesses. <laughs> yep. Ice Abyss runes rework druid. Yeah, I'd love to see ruins. That's all I'm guessing. Too. Yeah, I loved ruins. I love the lighting on ruins. They knocked it out of the damn park with the lighting on ruins, man. Mm. It looks so nice that playing was that map. Good. Yeah. yeah, but I love I love ice caves. So I'd like to see a, a finalized ice abyss. Uh, it would be pretty sweet. I want to see that wyvern. Hell yeah! I want to solo the wyvern. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. All right. Are you gonna be the I world's first? You. World's first wyvern? Probably not. I suck, but maybe I'll try. I would love to see you try. <laughs> He's got to die a few thousand times, right? Guys, you heard his process yeah. earlier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you'll get your chance, I'm sure, eventually one day. Um, it's 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 hilarious. I'll just I'll speak from and an being an Iron Mace employee, knowing what's coming, and like skirting around certain things, pretending to not oh, know what's know? going on. Well, of course I know what's going on. Um, <laughs> so it's it's just funny to not. Why would you be say able that to, though? Because people already know that I know. People know that I no. work at Iron Mace. No, you yeah. said everything was very compartmentalized. If I remember. you didn't say it exactly. That. Okay, yeah, yeah. things you are car that. things are. I, yes, that is true. I mean, in just in terms of what's coming in two weeks to the update is what I mean. <laughs> I don't know what like yeah. long. I don't know what long term plans are. I don't know about any of like the stuff past this coming <laughs> update. But I will say this coming update surprised. is going to be exciting and fun. Yeah. I am surprised so, you know though. What? I was just gonna laugh. I was like, someone's just gonna like steer and like really highlight like the right guesses. I'm gonna be like, man, I wish you had like a, like a new magic system. He's like, that's stupid. Now ice cave. That sounds like a really uh, cool idea. That's a winner. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Shields? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, that's I know. Funny. I know what's coming in the next couple of weeks, of course. But I don't know. I don't know long long term plans. But I just think it's funny. Like I asked that question, knowing what's coming, and I'm just kind of hearing. Your responses and what you guys, uh, what you guys are guessing, and it's just funny to me. Hey know. Soma, yeah, you see that? You see that hundred bucks I just sent you? Nope, can't bribe get me, you. brother. Perfect answer, <laughs> guys. Get your feet to the chat. Send some of your feet. What's, What's your Iron Mace email, Soma? All right. 
<laughs> I'm not telling you my Iron Man's email. <laughs> That's funny. No, um, yeah. I'm I'm excited for the update. I'm hoping uh I'm hoping now that like, you know, we're in the swing of things. I think they got a, a good idea where they're at. And I'm hoping content keeps rolling. I think that'd be the, the best the best thing for the game. I'm you know, so yeah. I guess you can kinda of maybe give like an, an idea of, of this like behind the scenes you know, is there is there a grand plan? Are they are they, are they like are they visioning something here? Like are they building or are we are they just kinda like go like flying it on the wing of the pants, you know? You ask is this a serious question you're asking me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Got nothing to say. Got nothing mm. to say. I'm thinking there's a grand plan. <laughs> of course. I, I like the yeah. that sounds like I a like no. to hope so. You know? Of course, yeah. a plan. of course they're not flying blind that's that's crazy to think <laughs> i'm looking at chat right now they're like they have no idea what they're doing the devs aren't doing anything all right no, all man. right all right nah, i mean that's not that's not fair to say i mean you gotta you got think about this dude yeah. uh what's like the most we always talk about turgov right turgov was dog shit for like three four years like everybody was like that's kind of cool but like i'm not i don't have a crazy mm -hmm. pc to play that and then as soon as it hit a, like a certain point i think it was like 2020 2021 like right around covid Dude, everybody fucking hopped on that shit because it was in a state that was ready to go. So I'm thinking Iron Man will probably have a similar jump, hopefully, if they keep at it. Yeah. Yeah. No, of course. We got to let them cook. It's just a, it's a new new project. It's a young company. Let's give them some time, you know? Give them some time. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I, oh, I will say, we didn't get you to know, hear... all the... Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Oh. I was just going to say all the downtime, you know, I know it sucks really bad and i feel like it was a bad decision but it's definitely telling that there's like big shit coming so why the fuck else would it be dead? days essentially you know? quivers yeah Dude, probably they're rehauling the inventory that would be cool they're like hey guys yeah. new wipe just quivers <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's the entire way yeah it's just quivers I, I hope not i would literally be a full-time rp streamer and that's awful <laughs> <laughs> I'll watch it. Don't worry, I'll be there for you. You don't want to be a full time RP, Jay? Why not? You said you're addicted you to know, it. No, that's probably a good life. It probably is being a good life being an RP streamer. I mean, I mean, GTA 6 is coming out later this year, right? Imagine how crazy RP will be in GTA 6. Oh, yes. It's going to be yeah, insane. Take like three years to, to get there. Yeah. I don't know. When it's the game not even comes coming out, to PC for like two years until after. Yeah, release it's not it. gonna come. Yeah, it's gonna come to PC like two years, year and a half later, and then it's gonna take. Wait, is that is that like true? Make all the mods. Do they yeah. do they announce that it's not coming to PC right away? I hope I'm not. Sure, right? That's what but that's saying. what happened with GTA Five and uh, Red Dead. It took like a year and a half, right. two years to come. To I PC. really hope it's not exclusive to console only. I I have not heard that. I really hope that's not true. That's insane. If that's true, that's pretty. Old. I'm sure yeah. it's true. Wow. It is kind of a backwards model nowadays, in my opinion. Oh. Yeah. Well, console is still like 2x the PC player base, right? So I'm like, hmm. oh. And then mobile's like 2x the console one. Hmm. Yeah. If there was like a, a place to RP, like there was no PvP, but just a place to RP and dark and darker somehow, would you, do you think there'd be a, a dark and darker RP scene? <laughs> yeah. I mean, like I said, they didn't add that clapping noise for no reason. Oh my god. Yep. <laughs> They've got pretty close market shares nowadays. It's looking like really? PC. It's like 56% to 41% is what I'm seeing. But that PC doesn't... versus console. Anyway. I, know. I think the thing that kind of throws people out with PC, right, is like if you want to really get into PC gaming, it's such a high, like, flat payment, right, to build a nice PC. Like $1,500. But, you know... There's a lot of people that have like a shitty like laptop that they'll play like Stardew Valley on. That's part of that market share. I think you're kind of right though about like high end PC gaming playing like GTA and stuff like that is probably nowhere near as much. Bloodborne on PC one. Yeah, when was that I supposed know, right? to come out? That was supposed to happen already, right? Man, I wish. I can't wait for the Elden Ring DLC. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, too. isn't that supposed to come out like in the next three or four weeks? Yeah, June. Elden Ring, yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, it's coming out. Are y'all hype for that? I'm kind of. Yeah, dude. I had a lot of super hype. Elden Ring. I, I used know it's to gonna be, be hyped good. For it. I'm not hyped anymore. I don't know why. I used to be very hyped for it, but I've kind of, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not mm. really feeling I, it anymore. 
Yeah, I think the idea that's keeping me, like, off of the Elden Ring DLC is, like, if I really want that true, like, hardcore experience, I'm going to have to go through and play Elden Ring again. And that's just a, that's a trick. I'm, I don't know if I want to do all that. <laughs> yeah, that's that's one thing about the, the DLC that kind of has made it lose its luster for me is I haven't played in so long that I would probably make a new character, which the thought of making a new character in Elden Ring is insane. I just don't have it in me to play through the game again. I also don't know if <clears throat> with the DLC, if I need to make a new character or if I just need to beat the game or like what that the whole thing looks like. I don't even know if my my main character has like a decent build right now. Like, I, I don't even know. Like, yeah. do, no. is there any information on the DLC? Like, is it, can you beat the game and then go into the content? Yeah. Is it best to be a fresh character? Like, have they said anything? They mentioned the so. way it's going to scale it. No, they mentioned the way it's going to scale in the DLC is there's new ways to progress your, your level increase or your power increase through the DLC so that if you play a finished character, a high level character, you can still be challenged in the DLC. So I read a couple articles about it. They didn't so explain it in depth or anything. So you can literally just hop on a character you already beat, go in there and be challenged is what they said. Hmm. So, so play your I character no is what they're trying to tell you. I imagine. Yeah. yeah. Straight up. Those fuckers get gotta... information like NPCs in the game. Man, you know, you dude. go like talk like a quest guy. <laughs> you're like the foretelling mountain. You're like, I don't need a fucking poem. Like tell me the story. dude. Yeah, for hmm. sure. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm hyped up for it, man. I've played the Dark Souls games probably more than any other game. So, Oh, yeah. From Software is incredible. The, the Souls games are awesome. I played the fuck out of Elden Ring. I absolutely loved it. I don't, I don't know what it is about the DLC that's not really doing it for me. Maybe it's just the, the overall thought of having to grind through the game again and <laughs> just knowing how much that's game it really is. But also yeah. knowing me, I'm going to see a stream of it. People are going to talk about how awesome it is, and then I'll end up, I'll end up <clears> buying <throat> it anyway. But yep. yeah. apparently the, uh, the new map is supposed to be like fucking massive. Like There's a reason why it took so long is because they're, they're adding in <laughs> such a large game space for the DLC, which is cool. Do you, do you play it all, Sparky? Elden Ring? I love Elden Ring. Hell yeah. I'm, I'm ready. Nice. Super ready. Were you guys Sekiro fans by chance? Oh, it was fun to play. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Sekiro was awesome. Stupid ass monkey the first time was wonderful. Sekiro might be. Like, here, here's the problem with Sekiro is it's so different from Dark Souls. I know it has, like, similar ish mechanics, but, like, the way you play it, like, you very much play it how they want you to play it. Whereas in Dark Souls, you can kind of make, like, a crazy magic build. Right. But the, like, the, the combat in Sekiro is, like, so tight. Like, it's so good. Like, everything just works really well. And it might it, it might be their best game, in my opinion, just because of like everything is made is so developed. Like every mechanic works perfectly. Mm. Speaking of to. speaking of crazy magic builds in Elden Ring, I got a question that's dark and darker related. So SDF was talking with some folks in Discord about um, you know what's coming after the Druid, what class would be next, and I think One Peg had a video about it where he called out that Sorcerer would be the next class after Druid. What do you guys yep. think, uh, how do you guys think the, the Sorcerer should play? Like, what do you think should be unique to the Sorcerer? Um, have you guys thought about it at all, the other classes? Like, what, what would make the, the Sork exciting and, and stand apart and be different and fun? Not sitting on the floor for starters. Yeah, <laughs> for sure, dude. Seriously, well, they can make that mistake three times. Ain't no way. That was a fun thirty seconds. Time to chill out. <laughs> yeah, it's sitting down and waiting to be able to play the game. It's it sucks. I'm with you. Yeah. 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 Hmm. I think like sorcerer gonna end up probably being like what wizard is now, but wizard's gonna keep some of his like iconic spells and probably get new ones that do other stuff like totally different. Instead of just do more damage. Yeah. yeah, what if... So you know how there's a certain amount of spells on the spell wheel? Like, Wizard has five spells on spell memory one and two. Like, I always thought it'd be cool if Sorcerer, which in, in like, D&D &D and other games, Sorcerers typically have access to less magic, less spells overall, all that stuff. What mm -hmm. if there was just less spells on the spell wheel, but they recovered spells faster or something like that. Like, I think that could be cool. Now, what if they didn't have charges? What if they just gave them mana? 
instead. Mana. Huh? Mm. So would the mana recharge slowly over time as you move around, or like? Mm. Hmm. Mana's mana, bro. We can get a little MP5 in there. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna give. Sor oh, sorry. No, no, no. Please, please go for it. Oh, I wonder if they're going to give Sorcerer's uh, Spell Overload. They're going to take it from Wizards. I don't know. I would like to see some semblance of like a, a meta magic type system, though, with Sorcerer, kind of like D&D. You know, like uh, Sorcerer and D&D can uh, use meta magic to like make a second copy of a spell. It's called Twin Spell or make a spell last longer or have way for like double the range as a typical spell stuff like that i would like to see mm. i would like to see like sort perks related to that like let's say sorcerer has fireball and you cast fireball but if you have twin spell like two fireballs shoot out that each do like 50 percent damage or something like that like shit That's like a cool that idea. that could be really yeah. fun sure. stuff like that in in Dungeons and Dragons, what is the sorcerer's base magic stuff built around? Because I mean, charisma. SDF's a dreamer, man, and he is he's gonna grab as much as he can from that. I feel like if he can, so. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Dungeons and Dragons, it's it's similar because you have spell slots, just like right. in uh, uh, Dad. Um, right. Except you can't just sit down. You know, you have to like actually like rest for hours to get him back. Right. Yeah. Where does elemental damage fall in between the two classes in that game? Is is sorcerer going to be a more elemental damage type class? You know what I mean. So I think not necessarily. So. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, not necessarily. No. I mean, they both have access to like chain lightning, fireball, stuff like that. But what the sorcerer doesn't get access to is some of the really crazy control and support type spells that wizard gets. Mm. Like later on, like high level wizards and dungeons and dragons can make complete clones of themselves. Or, like, if they die, they can, like, resurrect in, like, a clone body. <laughs> they can send copies of themselves around to do their bidding. Like, they get so fucking powerful that they're almost unkillable, which is insane. And they, they have, like, the power yeah. of gods. Whereas a sorcerer can definitely fuck you up. You know, they have access to, like, disintegrate and chain lightning and even the wish spell. But some of the shit that wizards get later is absurdly powerful and sorcerers never get a chance to cast that kind of spell so overall i mean someone said would sorcerer be support um cicatriz did in jace chat and honestly i think it'd be the other way around sorcerer would be the blaster damage dealer you know squishy quick moving blaster type character whereas wizard would have an entire you know array of shit they could do up their sleeve up their wizard sleeve right they'd be like right. a, a magical swiss army knife including you know damage damage dealing shit too but, I might yeah. have an unpopular opinion about Dark and Darker Wizard, but I think Dark and Darker Wizard should be the only class in the game that has ten spell. Okay, I agree. I'm not. I'm not opposed to that at all. I'm kind of down with that. Like, I don't think clerics should have ten spell. <clears throat> I, I definitely don't think sorcerers or any other magic casting classes should have it. Druid. Imagine ten spell druid with just a fuck ton of heals and shit. Ugh. That just seems too much, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, so, my, yeah, my problem I'm, with I'm sorcerer. With you, is I don't want them to neuter wizard though in making sorcerer, and that's where I get confused as far as like where sorcerer will fit in, but how they're gonna differentiate the two, right? Yeah, like I don't yeah. want them to take anything away from wizard because that'd be kind of lame. But if you don't do that, like you're just gonna give them different spells. <laughs> like what are we gonna? Do? Yeah, I'm I'm curious to see. Like, I don't, I don't know. Hmm. I'll tell you how I imagine sork, but I think it's really wizard. I want like, you know, they summon like the meteor from the sky to land. They do like blizzards and shit. I don't know. A lot more yeah. AOE shit. I think that'd be yeah. cool. I mean, that'd be a good a good way to differentiate it. I hey mean, guys, I'd like news. to see the update is complete. Oh, you guys can yeah. get back in the dungeon now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. You know, it'd be cool. I'd, I'd if, like to see like uh, some cool. I want to like a battle mage style out of one of our one of our wizard classes, dude. I want to be able to summon a weapon and go beat the shit out of someone while using ice touch up close too and slow them down so I can beat them with my summoned arming sword or something, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because Wizards are my second most played class. Like, when I need to... When I need a rejuvenation, I go in and fucking magic missile people to death. You know what <laughs> I mean? So... 
Yeah, It'd I be think cool uh, to see something like that. Yeah, like a battle mage or something like that would be a really cool subclass for wizard. I think later. Yeah, I That'd think it's sick. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. I think if if subclassing, um, you know, subclassing talents became a thing, battle mage like a tanky wizard, like imagine like a Gandalf type of thing, where you have like yep. a staff in one hand and a, a sword in the other hand, <laughs> or something like that. That'd be sick. <laughs> Um, I, I think that. that'd be cool, and I th beyond battle mage for a wizard, I think another subclass would be sick as necromancer, of course. I think that'd be super fucking yeah. fun. Yeah, I think it'd be great. Huh, we'll see. Hopefully, we'll see subclassing one day. Have you guys ever played necromancer back in D two? Hell, fucking mm -hmm. yeah! So fun. So I would do like really hardcore runs. This is probably like six years ago. This was before uh, D two resurrected came out. Necromancer was the one class I could get like super stoned and play hardcore because it was literally just the AFK class. <laughs> I'd just be hanging out, be like, "All right, guys, go ahead, take care of it for me." <laughs> just be hanging out. <laughs> Hell yeah, I respect that. Yeah, D two Necro was the shit. Absolutely loved it. Uh, let's see here. We are about over forty five minutes in. Why don't we move to Q? Oh, go for it. I don't think. Yeah, did, did we get to hear what you guys wanted for the next patch? Like dream, dream thing, Sparky, Augie. Oh yeah, I don't yeah. think we actually I got think, a chance. Sparky to, said. I think we steered away. Yeah, Sparky, what are you most excited for with the patch or something that could that could kick off? Hmm. I do actually want to fight the the wyvern, but the when I saw the the videos of the ice abyss, because like I didn't I didn't play it, but I watched everybody else's videos, like Jay dunking on everybody with the windlass and stuff. Um, I'm kind of worried about the map. I hope they kind of adjust it to make it a little less like in your face at all times. So I assume if there's more than one team down there or like, you know, three teams, even it's going to be actual hell. If people are just jumping over walls, like crazy, doing mm -hmm. whatever they want. Oh, I don't think that'll happen. I don't think they're leaving them walls like that. And that would be a giant no, disaster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <I agree. laughs> Yeah. If you're not playing a rogue, what the fuck are you doing on that map? Let's be real. <laughs> yeah, please don't. Mm. We shall see. Uh, what about you, Augie? What's your dream? What's your dream item for next update, dude? No, I just want to see Ice Abyss. I want to see Ice Abyss, and I want to see some big boy server improvements. I'm not going to lie. Um, so, if you could tell them one thing from us, Longsword Bros, whatever fucking fix they put in in Hotfix 31 back in February... <laughs> was the absolute best the desync has felt in this game. I tested with 36 different people from around the world fighting each other and testing it against each other. The two or three weeks leading up to when they initiated the OG Crips pre-wipe event after Hotfix 31 was the tits. Melee combat felt fun. So Okay. I, but I, I think that's just I want to see Ice Bits. I love general. Ice Caves, man. I feel like that's an in general thing. Fix the goddamn desync. It was there is no desync forever. And then yeah. all of a sudden there's just the desyncs were out, you know outrageous. Yeah, I mean it affects a lot. It affects range. It affects projectiles. It affects hit scan. If your teammate, I mean, dude, it was up to like over a tenth of a second of desync sometimes, and that's wild in a game where you're a lot, yeah. in the heat of the moment, strafing without inertia. Like, like I said, my buddy Ridio was our cleric. This motherfucker would send me clips of him healing the middle of my body and healing the guy in front of me because of desync. So oh. it affects everything. It's not just longsword. Longsword might be the most sensitive to it, mm. but phantom arrows, phantom spells, the way you manipulate the start attack position of your weapons and shit. It probably was part of the issue where they were struggling to figure out why weapons weren't dealing damage at the end of their attack frame duration that they just fixed because I could reliably make both repost attacks deal zero damage if I move too fast. So hmm. I'm not surprised there was other weapons that struggled with it like the stiletto and shit. So it is very important. I think it would help a lot with the integrity of the game and make people, you know, it's... It, it's okay that the game's kind of janky. That's what we fell in love with. It was awesome, right? Mm. But let's make the performance not janky. You know what I mean? That's all. I would love to see yeah. that. I know they're right. working on it, but they hit it pretty well once already. So I just, if someone could tell them, 
someone you're the only one I can reach out to to tell them that that worked. So no, I, I hear you. They can look back, man. I I agree that stability obviously is always going to be something that needs to be prioritized. Um, they know too. I mean, they've even said when they watch a stream and they see desync or stutter or they're playing and they see stutter, they cringe from it and they're like, "Fuck," mm. you know, <laughs> they hate it too. Well, you know. You, you know what it was, right? It was whenever they put that patch out to fix the rubber banding. And some genius, I don't know if it's bullshit, he it said something change. about the interpolation, which is like how the server reads your position or some shit like that. Ever since then, it's been desync central. I mean, I, I'm not yeah. technical, so I, I, don't know. I couldn't yeah. tell you when it comes to that kind of shit. I'll be, nothing. I'll be so honest with you, I'd rather have a little desync than rubber band. That shit was horrible. <laughs> rubber banding. I used to rubber band like I don't 10 know, times bro. around, dude. It was bad. I don't know. I was getting commando proed from a rogue like 10 feet away from me because of the desync. Commando. Definitely wasn't <laughs> cheating. My man was stabbing air and just hitting me the whole time. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's not good. Yep. All right, why don't we swap over to Q&A, gentlemen. Yep. We're closing in on an hour on the episode. Actually, I want to I wanna Q&A a little bit sure. on Sparky's setup, dude. Oh, dude, yeah. You got like the whole VTuber setup, yeah? Oh yeah. What's up, dude? Do you have like the like it like? Do you have the camera model thing where it, like cameras your face and it can like do your emotions and stuff like that? Or how, how's yours work? Yeah, I can do that. Holy shit! Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> did you can, 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 give us like a cry, dude? What does it look like? A cry? Oh, we can't go that far. I lost my emotions when I upgraded my program. Sorry. <laughs> so how did you how did you make this did you commission an artist to do this did you make it yourself like how did how does one go about creating a vtuber character in the background and the whole thing i'm pretty ignorant uh, too. so see that see that creature walking around back there yeah the porky yeah part? that yeah it's a it's a boar uh that's that's my wife um oh my she God. is the true brains behind the operation she she did this she made oh. me into what I am today. Oh wow, that's the oh. trick. Have a dope ass wife like Sparky's. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Chat's Chat's screwed, dude. <laughs> Chat's both. <laughs> huh. oh, that's cool. So that's cool. Yeah. So your wife does like art and stuff, and she hooked you up with it. Yeah, she's a she's an animator. Yeah, that's bad. How yeah, I mean, convenient yeah, I for tell. you. That's great. <laughs> she's a 2D animator. She actually taught herself how to do uh, 3D uh, modeling and rigging specifically to make this. Wow. Make me. Did, I'm, how clean are those dishes in the <laughs> house? Like, do you ever leave a mess? I'll just say no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, so, so, like, you have to use, like, a like a whole rigging thing, right, that, like, captures you in your room? Oh, no. No, I don't have that much money. No, I just, oh, I use a webcam. Can it, like, move your arms and stuff? Or is it just your facial expressions? Um, so, the the hand tracking, like, arm and everything, like, to do that... Are, are like gloves that I think cost what was it like a couple thousand dollars? It's insane. All right, wild. Jesus. So we're, so we're gonna keep the arms down for now. <laughs> <laughs> what happens That's if what happens you ever if you put your arm up? Would we see your hand or something? Yeah, hold on. I got you. I remember that. Whoa, where am I going? Oh God. Uh oh. Yeah. My hands are up there. Interesting. Down there, up there, around there, wherever they are. Ah, uh, I see. Pick up my chair. That's cool. Okay. Do you ever have like the fear your actual camera's gonna come on, or can that not happen? Yeah. <laughs> Do you just sit there naked, like sweating? Naked? The... That's the only way the body tracking works, bro. <laughs> oh, okay. You need to see the glisten of your sweat to track. He's that's, just like it's spoiled beauty. up in like peanut butter or something, just something for, like weird as shit. X G on green, it's all the peanut butter. X G on Mar and Jay's chat. <laughs> laughed and he said t posed i was actually going to call it out you you were t posing Classic. which is hilarious i love it well, that's cool. do all sorts of insane poses but that would be a kind of a wild to set up now how much money like would you need to sell out to go like the full anime route of like the vtubing like the full like to get yourself made like a what are they called like a live 2d model or whatever <laughs> no i'm saying like for you to sell out you know like we got like a cool like lizard guy going on, but like if that's not selling, dude, you know, if if I could guarantee you like three thousand live viewers, would you just go full uwu anime like VTuber? Oh, like a like not a lizard, like a anime girl? Yeah, like a yeah, cat girl. you know, put some juggies on you, dude. Oh no, bro, lizard forever, dude. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I mean, that is well, most VTuber characters is like a girl with cat ears, 
like that's like ninety five percent of them, right? Yeah. What's Born up with that? Why is that? Order. Why is that always the choice? It doesn't it seem culture. like that's? Hey, it I sells, guess, man. If it sells, it goes. I guess. I mean, you know, some people they uh they gotta you know they like what you like. I guess, but I didn't realize it was yeah. like ninety eight percent of YouTubers all like the same thing, but. Teach their own. <laughs> you, I think it's just like the anime thing, you know. It's, People like anime; they want to see. Yeah. It. Sure. The audience you, that actually uh, puts money out to support those type of people is in that, you know, weird category. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you okay? <laughs> have you perused the VTubing section though? There are some models where you're like. All right, I, I can see why people tune in. I I understand the uh, the allure. Are you telling me that you're not? Seduced by these giant bulging eyes and vacant Look at stare. Those eyes, man. <laughs> well, you know, don't ask me to stand up, but uh, right now I'm All not right. doing very. You know, I'm, I'm I'm not so aroused by your uh, your lizard man. He likes red lizards. <clears throat> yeah, I do. Bro, I have approximately two whole brain cells to rub together. Like, trust me, this is what I look like. That's awesome. It's funny. So you work in the government, is what you're telling us. <laughs> Accurate. Listen, nah, dude, he's worse. People. He works with the IRS or something. He's just like actual yep. terrible person. <laughs> what the? Wow. <laughs> Sorry, boys. Jeez. Sorry, All right, sorry. let's uh, let's take some questions. Um, someone asked earlier why the green lizard, Sparky. Why the green lizard? Well, uh, when I first started streaming, I didn't have a webcam. So we started with something simple, and I eventually bought a webcam with the money I made from streaming. So here we are, continuing the legacy of the lizard. Nice. Where do you live? I was a lizard. Go. Where are you from? Before Dark and Darker. Hmm? Where are you from? Where was that? Where are you from? Oh, uh, I'm somewhere over on the east coast of America. East coaster. Okay. Very nice. Where's the lizard holes at? What, what are lizards? Yeah. Do they have dens? Do lizards have dens? Dude, I crawled out of the sewer, man. <laughs> <laughs> Lizards, Fair. like, hang upside down on, like, garage ceilings. Pretty sure that's where they all live. Yeah. Checks out. Soma, why do you have 19 doors in your room? Uh, Hold on, that's a great question, though. Sure. Bathroom, door to the room, closet, and then next to the that closet is another closet where I have a coffee machine, a microwave, and a mini fridge. Hell yeah, mini fridge. And then there's baby. another door right there, which leads to the back patio. So, yeah, that's why. You're right though. It is actually a shitload of fucking doors. doors. Yeah, I guess I never really thought yeah. about it. You don't you don't even have walls. There's just doors. I have this wall here and this wall here. And then everything yeah, my ass, bro. Yeah, I have two <laughs> I don't believe it. I have one and a half He's got walls. That doors in front of him too. I have one and a half walls. Cable. Yeah. Like oh. real fake doors. <laughs> you kind of look like you're in the back rooms. <laughs> yeah. No, I have I have one full wall that I'm facing right now that has nothing that really nothing on it. Or you could it has room to have stuff hang on it. Then I have a little bit of space here next to the bathroom wall or bathroom door, but that's it. Everything else is windows or doors, which is kind of weird actually. Now that you guys bring it up, yeah, I I, I live in the door the door store. A painter's Actually, nightmare. Yeah, this Everyone this bedroom used hustle. to be dark green. Used used to be a dark yeah, I hate green room. Your fucking room, dude. Yeah, that's the family business is painting. I hate oh, no shit. Lot right now, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It used to be a dark green room. Whenever I was a full time streamer many many years ago in this in this house, I had my setup against this wall, and I was facing Door. the rest of the room, <laughs> and it was like Up a doors. dark green foresty vibe in here. Yeah. yeah, I will say, Augie, you have like a charming, rugged look to you. Like you could either be my plumber or like an artsy guy in like Portland. You know, mm. like either or. And or I a go, freedom yeah, fighter. Yeah, a passionate a freedom fighter. He's got that look too. <laughs> Dude, I'm, 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 uh, I did trade skill stuff, so it checks out. Yeah, I'm jealous. Augie, Augie's hot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not all right. Hell yeah, Augie, take Thanks, it, buddy. Take it. Appreciate you. <laughs> You're a good looking lizard too though. Sparky, well, okay. yeah, thank you. The eyes do it, man. Yeah, those beautiful eyes. So can I, I ask you a question? question? Oh. You got it. No, you got it. Sure. Okay. Do you know did Iron Mace 
put lizard man in the game because of me you know why don't we just go with that <laughs> oh yeah like, let's just let's just spin Thanks, that Mikey. as the narrative we appreciate you getting us lizard skin hey thank you're you. welcome everyone can thank uh spark thank i can't you. clap but i would if i could <laughs> yeah don't you don't want to t-pose in front of everybody it's very embarrassing we had a question do you guys think true and add damage is the reason there's range meta Say that again, sir. Mm. Ask that again. Is true and add damage the reason why there's range meta? Probably not. The reason why? Uh, Definitely not. But does it no. make getting hit by range stuff more frustrating because it hits harder? Yes. Yeah. I think true fizz no. just needs to be removed, or true damage in general just needs to be it's removed. It's very troublesome. You know, I agree. true damage. I finally saw a video of the EU survival bow rangers that people were complaining about for weeks. And uh, yeah, they're just out there three tapping everybody with a survival bow. Yeah, it's not good. It, it was true damage added to the game to combat PDR? Was that the whole big reason? It's been in the game for, since day one. Uh, yeah, it's well, I, I know, but I mean, I don't know if it's there to combat it because you got true magic damage too. And there was zero magic resist in the game for a yeah. hot minute. Um, yeah. I think it's just part of the inherent concept of RPG games. True damage is, it's kind of a staple, right? It's always is in it? your rolls. It's always on your rolls. Yeah, it's, it's, I feel like, I feel like removing it shouldn't be the way to fix any of the issues around having it in the game. Um, I do. But I think just limiting the total that you can get, you know what I mean? I getting, think getting they, 10 is insane. Sorry. You're good. You're good. I think you could ditch true damage if you made penetration have any value at all in the entire game. Uh, I guess that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. Because like, all true is is skipping having penetration. Yeah. It's all it's really the same shit. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that's fair. That's a good point. But like, you know, obviously you just stack it and then you're fucking broken, right? But yeah. if you had penet if penetration actually mattered in this game, you know, you could argue to to build it in and not have that kind of shit. Yeah, because like you said, pen's pretty. F <laughs> penetration in this game's irrelevant so yeah i come from wow where like armor pen is like the name of the game in pv which i mean really yeah. all there is and then in later expansions it becomes the name of the game in arenas in pvp hmm. yolo sapien said yeah. i'm going to repost the question because it was misunderstood i believe true damage is the main source of a lot of frustration blah blah, blah. But no one seems to talk about it. Do you guys think it should be removed? Which is, I think, what his question was. And yes, I do think true damage should be removed. Well, I agree. Kind of talked about it, but yeah, yeah. Oh, you're right. But yeah, I think it should be removed. Let me ask you this, though. I mean, like, what would be the difference if we just do pen, though, versus true damage? Like, wouldn't it just kind of be the same thing? Um, If it just sure. pens everything? Yeah, but it's <laughs> so... not just like a brain-dead stat that just solves every problem all of a sudden. You know what I mean? I mean, I guess uh, well, it depends it's, on how it's much different, they let though. you stack it. <clears throat> it's different because pen is not adding damage. It's just uh, um, circumventing. Reducing their mitigation. It's reducing mitigation, whereas true fizz ignores mitiga mitigation and adds damage on top of it. So you're like, yeah, you're like double dipping on a stat, essentially, which if you just yeah, remove, sure. keep penetration in, which I think is a good thing. Magic pen, armor pen, that's, and that's juice good. juice it up. Yeah, make yeah, that it's better. Gotta, it's got to roll better. Yeah, yeah. At least in a current state, of per, you're penning a percent of a percent, right? Which is just, like, yeah. weird. Yeah. Like, if you had 10% pen, it should just be flat to make everybody... I mean, if they switch to you know, flat, that'd be a good and, and make it simple and not just, like, you know, this game's already kind of difficult with how they do everything, so... Mm -hmm. Make it simple. It's, true. it's really not hard, honestly. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm of that opinion. I think they really should lean into, like, the fun, simple side of it. Like, arcade stuff. More arcade-type mechanics would be great in my opinion yeah i mean i've said it before but instead of just adding more statistics or more increased percent damage in general do less of that and make make your character powerful in other ways like you clear mobs faster or you take less damage from dungeon traps or whatever you know there's a bunch of other things that you could add into the game that makes you get through content more efficiently and that will make you feel more badass, but not directly make you kill a player in two hits, you know? Like right. you, you can you can increase stats and increase power without increasing, or sorry, decreasing PVP time to kill. And I think that's that's what Iron Mace should consider. Uh, so like, as, instead like of- Like silver weapons? 
Right. Yeah, shit like that, exactly. So instead of just getting plus 15% extra damage to undead on a silver sword that I craft, put that as a stat that I can find on any weapon that, I, that I'm equipping in the dungeon. So let's say I open a chest in the crypts and I find a blue arming sword. Give it a stat chance. Give it a give the give the uh, weapon a chance to roll the stat plus six percent more damage to demons or something like that, or plus five percent more damage to beasts or something like that. And you add that stat in while removing uh, true fizz or true magic damage stats. So suddenly I am still more powerful, or I am a little bit more powerful in a PVE setting or in the dungeon. But whenever I come up against a player. I'm not going to rock them in just two hits. Um, the you know the time to kill will uh, not decrease, um, which I think is the opposite of what people want, right? People don't want the shit to decrease. They want a little bit more time to kill. They want a couple a more, more hits, a little, couple more hits yeah. in PvP, so you can show more skill expression, reset the fights more, recover a little yeah. bit more. And I think other stats that make you more powerful in other ways outside of PvP would be extremely beneficial for that. I think that should just be innate in your weapon. Just add it in, bro, and scale it with the rarity. You know what I mean? Just in gen, like, an innate stat should sure. be extra damage to demons on a certain weapon in general? Yeah, and if and if they want, you know how there's, like, the divine weapons and stuff, just make those, like, the highest percent damage, right? Yeah, exactly. And then just add, like, the yeah, innate fair, ones yeah. in, so at least there's a crafting incentive and shit. Yeah. yeah it'd, be, um, it'd be fun to have, like, bossing builds stuff like that and like certain map builds you know like this one's really good for the ice because i have a flaming sword it kills ice monsters better and then you know maybe you get like a poison one for the goblin caves i don't know yeah i like that idea actually stuff like that would be, be fun. fun yeah i think if uh, guys... there was like a loadout system like in the character section of the of the menu like you like oh, hey i want loadout one you just click a button and suddenly you're in your longsword kit with played on with those associated perks and then the next match you're like hey we should actually go for some warlord kills hit loadout two suddenly you're in plate with shield mastery perk on instead a heater shield and a sword instead of the long sword all that fun stuff um i think just a click of a button to change your loadout would be really awesome that's just like a small quality of life yeah but how would you do that with gear you know that works in the. I squire. think you'd have to. I'm sure. I, you'd I have to know. change gear all around. Yeah. Like you'd have to standardize loot. It wouldn't have to be random rolls on loot anymore. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Mm -hmm. now, what about this one? What's an immediate change that would help increase the diversity of meta comps? Because yeah, it's just been buff balls on the day one for sure. Mm. Hard limit on the amount of buffs the... you can have on one character. Maybe just they hard do limited, just have man. To axe buffs. Just Axe hard limited. I mean, another. at the very least, bard buffs need to not be AOE. Single target buffs. Every other class that can buff in the game has a limit on what they can buff the amount of times, and it's single target. Just make it harder to get the buff ball going so that you have chances to play around it. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Because yeah. having 12 buffs on a fucking barbarian is insane. Yeah, that circles so. back to what you are saying, Augie. With like... Yeah, because you said you were playing fighter, barb, cleric. I'm like, I don't know about that one. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Just instantly, chance, right? It's like, yeah. Yeah, not a chance. You're, mm. When you play, like, fun comps, you're on a timer of when you run into a real comp. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> for That's sure. That's right. That's AK, right. the one and only true comp out there. Yeah. Yeah, I think buff limits could be helpful. And, obvious, and also, beyond that, um, when a certain buff type, let's say there's, like, a power buff, speed buff, defensive buff, whatever... I think whenever a, a certain type of buff hits your character and uh, there's a, a similar type buff, like let's say you get hit with two movement speed buffs. I think the latest movement speed buff should circumvent and take the place of a previous movement speed buff. So instead of stacking up five different movement speed buffs, you can only have like one or two of a certain kind of buff on you at, mm -hmm. a, at a time or something like that. Yeah. So if I get Accelerando and it moves my move speed up, does it get removed by Sprint or Rage? Something like that. Sure. It, something like that. Like would it work? Yeah. Yeah. See, so you're hit with I mean, the, I'm not I'm not against it, man. That's a great idea. Yeah. I mean, even yeah. if it's just for like testing purposes, maybe it sucks. I don't know. Yeah. But let's you get hit with accelerando, you're running toward a team, and there's a few seconds left in the accelerando, but you're like, fuck it, I'm gonna hit my sprint right now. 
it overrides accelerando goes right into sprint and you don't have a massive stack of like 24 buffs right yeah. maybe it's like maxed out of like a dozen buffs or something like that i think yeah. they just need to limit it at, at least i think it was glock's idea the diminishing returns on buffs after a certain number yeah. that's a good idea too you know just I, just yeah. less value to them or something man because there's no way they're gonna stop it right now because mm-hmm. there's nothing that can keep up with putting one character at the pi- at the power of more than three because that's what it is mm-hmm. you can send right. a guy in and he's going through three guys or more without without issue unless he you know fucks up he's playing with his monitor off maybe <laughs> so <laughs> yeah yeah All right, what else we got here, chat? Anything in your uh, chat? Yeah, I got a good one. What you got? If the ice torch is blue, isn't that ripping off Founder Edition owners? What do you guys think about that one? (laughs) No. No. Well, everyone gave me a chuckle. It looked different, (laughs) so. (laughs) That's funny. I mean, do you guys think most people have the whole line edition, or do you think most gamers just have the standard edition? Because I feel like it's kind of like a Tarkov situation. You know, where you play Tarkov, like, the majority of players you see will be EOD, EOD versus standard. I don't know, man. We got a lot of the hardcore player base. Like, the game released through a Discord announcement into EA. Like, when this game hits Steam, you're not going to get more hardcore players than what we already had on this game, I feel like. The hardcore yeah. people that were willing to play the fucking game played the game through a torrent and then played the game through an EA release that was during a lawsuit. You know what I mean? The hardcore players might come back, but, but I also think the hardcore players would shell out 50 bucks so mm. yeah yeah i don't know a good question I'm not sure mm. do you guys all got hold the line edition right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, have two. Yeah. I didn't get it on my second account, i'll tell you that <laughs> <laughs> i think that's understandable i mean you bought the game twice that's that's great you know yeah I mean, that's what they wanted, right? That's why they capped it at seven characters when they dropped the eighth class. They made me fucking do that <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, they just announced in one of their uh, developer comments in Discord that the Hold the Line edition is going away. So get it now. What? Yeah. Interesting. I think you know, it was like the last, like, hey man, in the last 24 hours, it's, right? They, they announced that. That has got to be like a, a legal issue because they're probably going to make those test servers public. Or they marketed it edition? as being exclusive. That's what yeah, I was well, about they marketed it as being exclusive in a pack. They're pulling a BSG, which is wait, I miss pulling a BSG for what? For what now? What do, you, what do you mean? Well, they're gonna get rid of the hold the line edition. Why? Ron heard for the torch or the skeleton <laughs> skin. No. Are they're you getting saying they're getting rid of it? To have his Are exclusive s- test server ass access, which is now biting them in the fucking ass, and then. So they have no choice. It's not like they can make it free. That opens up another lawsuit, right? In I, reality. I have no idea. I don't think so. I'm no lawyer, but that shit works. I've been RP in my <laughs> I've been reading the PR codes. Are, is that what you are? Like, are you sure that's a felony officer? There's a fucking lawyer in that game? I didn't realize what I was Fuck watching. Fuck no. I'm Dude, on the other no. side of law, bro. That's hilarious. For uh, those like the no pixel, like the, the big GTA server that all the streamers play on, dude. There's like a whole like lawyer fucking industry where like yeah. players, oh, their yeah. entire character is spent yep. like ten hours a day arguing cases for their client. Like, <laughs> sir, he might have had meth and three counts of murder on him, but he's a good guy. Like, look at him. You know, like, this is what people do all day. Look at this avatar. Oh, he's innocent. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there was, uh, I mean, Sheriff Eli, I don't know if he still streams, but for a long time, his entire thing on Twitch was just being a cop in GTA RP. He, oh, yeah. He created, like, an entire career around that. Uh, he's probably burnt out by of now, course. but for a while, he was he was really huge on Twitch just I do for being wonder, a cop. Like, if RP lawyers, say, so let's talk, like, no pixel specifically, because it's, like, crazy. I wonder if those guys, like, eventually become real lawyers you know what i mean because why else would you rp as a lawyer for like years and learn everything about law under the sun because they base it off of like california state law right in in so rp they do you would yeah at least a no pixel a no pixel what? i'm pretty sure it was california state law that's what they went off for a long time and then i think they like restructured it into rp type of deal what the hell What's yeah when when streamers would pull up like a law they would Go to the California state law or whatever. 
No shit. I mm. didn't. Even, I didn't realize that. Oh huh. man, huh. crazy. Some, but it makes me wonder how many become lawyers. Frosty Mini Wheat says there have been real lawyers and RPOs lawyers on No Pixel, and then Cicatrice says some oh, in law school. That's kind of wild. Wow. That is Dude, wild. You know how That's many cool. like rappers? I, I think like a few rappers came out of No Pixel because they were making music in game and it was actually good. And then you're talking about Auto Tune Tyrone. Yeah, OTT is a bit of a miss, but I do love the guy. What, what bit of okay. a miss? Oh. He's the best. Uh, What's wrong with Auto Tune Tyrone? He's the shit. Maybe, maybe it was. Maybe I can't remember. I mean, he's old. He's old. He just came out then. I don't know. I don't fucking watch that shit. Auto Tune Tyrone is the shit, man. I love that character. Max was. I used to watch Moon Moon. Yeah. He play this. He play this cop called Lenny, and he was like this Mormon chud from like a trailer park. He played the most inbred like Southern man. He's just some cop. It was hilarious. What were you gonna say, Jay, about OTT? Oh, I don't know. I I I don't really watch him. I, he was one of the first people I watched, but I think I I, I tuned in in a bad few days for him because I I just remember him just bitching the whole time. Oh well, like a lot of the old school GTA RP people have just had so much drama and bullshit around that entire thing. There's been there's been non oh, yeah there's been nonstop RP drama. For many, many, many years, to the point where whole chats were like being weaponized against other RPers because an RPer or some viewers didn't like how someone else was RPing, or they didn't like oh yeah what someone said, That's why I didn't like even though it's for not real. Yeah, even though it's not even real, like people would get so fucking angry at just make believe, pretend GTA RP shit, where they would like Let's threaten people's real. families, threaten people's lives like dox their information like i know streamers that who, shit's crazy i know but it's true i've had people that i know that i'm friends with show me instances of people texting them or messaging them pictures of their house their address where their, where their kids go to school i'm not kidding this is how in intense people get i was gonna say let's be real you know you know when it gets to them heated rp scenarios that shit is half oc let's be you know it. it was all in character i called her a bitch all in character. <laughs> yeah oh, man. anyway people yeah. take people take this shit way too seriously well dude i mean oh. we, we talked about it like it's it's kind of like a second life almost when you get in those rp situations yeah. you know and some people kind of take that passion whenever they're they're watching it as well like that's their guy you fucked my guy over yeah. Now he can't stream because he's in jail for 30 minutes, you piece of shit. Like, you know? uh, that's right. Well, well, Some people get mad. <laughs> you, you know what's crazy? I don't know if I said this last time, but I've been RPing, you know, like 11 days, first time. I'm already getting stream sniped, bro. It's disgusting. What? Wait, you're getting stream sniped in, in GTA? Yeah, in Lens? RP, bro. I can't believe it. I go from dark and darker where I get stream sniped every day, every game for the last nine months. I'm like, finally, a new game to play. Stream snipe. That is just ridiculous. You're too famous, Jay. No, I'm not. It's just... Too famous. I gotta get on the RPG, yeah. dude. Big go famous stream streamer. Jay. Uh, I gotta make a character honestly, that just it hates feels so Jay. bad. It feels so bad. I know. I know. Augie gets sniped in game. I mean, there's been so <laughs> many times where Augie will be playing yeah. Dark and Dark or doing his thing, and then someone will come up to throw a torch down and engage in glorious combat with them. It's fucking beautiful. I love it. I'm sure you love it too, Augie. <laughs> It happens all the fucking um, time. It's I know, best, it's great. <laughs> Sparky, does the same thing happen to you? Do people run up and recognize your voice and try to duel you or fight you or hang out with you in game? Yeah, they do. But I'm the opposite of Augie. I tell people not to snipe me. <laughs> oh, you don't want any of that shit. No. Well, I, I say if you want to duel me, like just ask to do it and like we can duel or something, but like if they just come up, I'm like I'm like, bro, like I'm just trying to go like fight everybody in the dungeon. Like if you come up my my dungeon you're taking the slot away from someone else and now i gotta like honorably duel you like i think augie's really chill he's actually cooler than i am for doing that with people <laughs> but i'm i'm like the opposite polar opposite i'm like don't do it fair enough have you guys have you guys duoed up as a couple <clears throat> of long sword bros together mm -hmm. we have i love that can i see a sparky augie video it'd be great yeah we're due for one again the last one we had was our one verse one with full gore yeah, the last one. Oh, oh shit. shit. That was a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, we ran into each other in the fucking dungeon on the 
last hour of the wipe. <laughs> was that yeah. the full gore that Jay gave me that I gave you? <clears throat> no, that was after oh, that. Oh, that's different full gore. <laughs> I feel like that yep. full gore has some fucking mileage on it. <laughs> yeah, it really did. Distance, man. I ran it for like nine hours. I gave it a so I'm sure you ran it for a bunch of hours. No, that, I'm that, sure Augie ran that shit for a while. That Fulgar was the sisterhood of the traveling pants. Everyone got their hands on that shit. Everyone <laughs> used it. <laughs> fit everyone's builds in its own unique way. And then eventually, I can't remember what happened to it, but yeah, I think like six, like five or six streamers used that fucking sword before it was lost. Man. That's, Augie, one, uh, that's one thing that I really uh, sort of wish was a little bit different in Dark and Darker is getting a, a named item is so exciting and fun and it feels so cool and so satisfying but you just never have them and even like the top top people the jays and the augies and the sparkies and, oh, the, and the, the, the reposes the katies the end bosses you barely see the top top people who are in hr all the time with named items named weapons and shit i w i mean i don't want them to be i don't want them to be less rare but God, it would be fun if once in a while, you know, you can actually play with one of those fucking items. I just feel like they're almost I'll, too rare. Do you guys think so? I'll tell yes. you, bro. Just pre-wipe event. Just throw them all in the vendors <laughs> for one <laughs> gold. <That's> a, <laughs> yeah, that's a great idea. So fun. Crazy fun. How's it not? Let people have a massive fun off. with it. Yeah, that's Why a great not doing idea, this? Jay. Yeah. 100% great idea, dude. Yeah, I think. Yeah, a, the only time just, I touch it, anything yeah. is a gift. Yeah. Community, long yeah. road community, and down the grapevine to me type deal. Yeah, pre I mean, I run around naked sick. with a bucket on my head. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't getting that shit. No, that'd be cool. That'd be super cool for uh, like five days left on the way. Yeah. People can buy any named item in the game from a special vendor for 100 gold a pop. Something yeah, like that. what's it hurt? You know, what's it hurt? Just wiping a week anyway. Wiping. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Especially a, idea, a few days out. I think that'd be fucking beautiful. Yeah. What's your uh, favorite named uh, item in the game, Sparky and Augie? Fulgore. Real question? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, you never know. No, no, no. It's Fulgore for sure. Fulgore's awesome. The name, but the I action. Think... Yeah, it's, it looks so good. It's too cool. The, yeah, the, the, the texture on the weapon is amazing. It looks so, it looks so good compared yeah. to the other ones, honestly. No, it's I want definitely, to change, though. I, it's definitely cool. I really like Cinder a lot, too. I, I, you know, I, I think uh, Fulgore's fine. It's super cool, but I think there's cooler weapons than Fulgore. What's the what's the rapier? What's that called again? Viola. Viola, of course. Yeah, Viola. Yeah, I think Viola's fucking amazing. I think Viola's... Yeah, that shit's OP as fuck as why. It's cool. <laughs> Hands down it's the so, best name It's item. so broken. If yeah, I want to take on the, the cave troll, I need a Viola, okay? Let's put it that way. Yeah, because he does his four <laughs> swing attack pattern by the time you kill him. You are correct. You are fucking correct. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Let's get a couple of more questions. We've been going for almost 90 minutes here let's get like two or three more and we'll call it i got a question for you boys i made sure. a video recently and in the in the video was something i wanted to see in dark and darker and it was individual scaling for weapons and for spells so an individual scaling ratio like they added and they showed the attribute scaling on the spells the 1.0s for all of them yep but applied to one hand weapons two hand weapons individually on the bows and the crossbows and the throwing weapons as well and then on the spells on top of that because the way the damage calculation works is kind of wild there's two different scaling sections with fizz and magic power and then additional damage and stuff as well and it would really change up the dynamic of the weapons oh. and the balancing in the game a lot yes please hmm. there's like seven attributes that scale you in damage yeah. you know what i mean right yeah, this so is you... uh, this is what they do in WoW. Maybe not with weapons, but they do spell coefficients, which is like basically the sh the longer the cast, the more it scales. The shorter the cast, the less it scales. You know, so you would do that oh, with like tiers, like spell tiers. Like chain lightning gets full damage scaling. That's their biggest. That's a great right? idea. Eventually, shoot. Hmm. Zaps like a tier one. It shouldn't scale for dog. Sh that's an interesting way. So I'm sure you could apply that's that. A, for that's weapons, a really good idea. No problem. Yeah, yeah I I've, mean... been, I've been talking about that one for a while. Have you? Yeah. I mean, like, when you look at the way the damage stacking applies right now in the game, and why it's survival bow is nutty and shit, um, arming sword, I mean, go watch a lore video, the guy's got 70 action speed, and he's hitting for 140 damage, a swing as well, you know what I mean? 
Right. So like there's actually zero place in sweating in the game for a two-handed melee weapon, even if they change the way ranged works and you got into melee fights. Because the scaling on one hand weapons just is the same. It, it's the just team. insane yeah. to the DPS changes that it makes, right? So I feel like it would help a lot and it would help diversify bows as well because Jay's idea that he just said from WoW could absolutely be applied to the bows too. Like longbow slow. It gets full scaling, recurves is faster, it gets, you know, 0.8, survival yeah. gets 0.6, stuff like that. Right. And I think it would help, it would help change up the dynamic of all the weapons being used in the game and help, I mean, add a better foundation for balancing ahead too. You know what I mean? Because right now it is, grab the fucking fastest weapon you can swing, stack damage, go swing. Right. 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 I don't know, I like yeah, that, I like that idea. I never thought of that. Yeah. Never thought of it on an actual weapon, but it does make a fuck. Look. I like it. Yeah, I like that idea a lot. I think both of the things you guys just brought up, like a hybrid version of that, would be sick. I have another well, question, yeah, yeah, yeah. and this J magic missiles, tier one Earth. spell, fifty percent, fifty percent scaling, tier one spell, double the cast, PVE spell, focus. Would yeah, it work? It would like, it be better? It gets like two hundred percent scaling for PVE. Yeah, ridiculous. right. Yeah. It's actually yeah, like super that... useful for clearing. It would make it a lot funner to play wizard. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's a lot of people talk about that forever, but you, it's your only like anti melee option, right? Yeah. There needs. So you there need needs to, to be other replace. Melee you need to have yeah. a more option, like a pushback right. or like cone of cold. I don't know how right. that's not in the yep. game. Cone right, of cold, like right. force shove, shit like that, right? Once you yep. replace it, yeah, you can nerf it, but it's like it's got to have something else like, first. It's like, um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know of another. Example, I mean, there's, you know I mean. there's a, a like a very low level spell in D and D called Gust, where it's basically just a big gust of wind that pushes you back. Knockback. Yep. That's what, a great if, idea. what if there was? Back. I mean, like right now, there's Light Orb, which uh, replenishes extremely quickly. It's a level one spell, tier one spell. You have a bunch of them. You get them back really fast as a wizard. What if you had access yep. to a bunch of gusts, kind of like Light Orb? Yeah. You know, it doesn't do damage. Do something. But you could, at least you could gust people off of uh, a ledge. You could gust someone into a trap or yep. a swinging axe help or something like them. that. Yep, help yeah. you kite. Yeah, that's great. I think that'd I'm be a big sick. fan of anything that manipulates yeah. spacing. I'm a big spacing nut. So, right. like, I play yeah. League of Legends and I play Control Mages, man. We, we out here spacing in every game. Mm. So, gust yeah, sounds get... great, dude. Don't get, don't get me wrong, I also cringe out when I get like three tapped by magic missiles in like point hey, one I, seconds, like said, but dude, I'll go jump on wizard, it's rejuvenating yeah. man, you go murder people with magic missiles baby, hell yeah, sorry buddy yeah. but I'm laughing at your I'm laughing at your body, I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really just want control spell, like, you know, it made me realize that's what it was, control like, if, yeah. if how's that not, like, a thing yeah, that's, that's a good wow. idea mm. how's it That'd be sweet. <laughs> That'd be real yeah. sweet. Shoot, now I got a new wish list for the uh, patch coming out, damn it. Hmm. I won't lie, I love playing Wizard. I haven't played it in a while. I haven't played a lot of the game in a while. I got to dip back into High Roller and play the real game, go shoot people with bows <clears throat> and stuff. But I got a question for you guys. Would you like to see all of the, or most of the perks and abilities in the game sort of be revisited and tweaked and improved or nerfed mm. in some ways? Or... Would you rather just see a bunch of new stuff introduced or a, like some semblance of both? Well, it's early, and then you know there's more perks coming later in skills. I think eventually. that's safe to assume. So sure. why rework it all just to rework it later? I think I feel like the perks aren't that bad. There's obviously shit ones. There's some outliers. Bad, yeah. Really. Yeah. yeah. I mean, multiclassing brought it brought yeah. it to the front, man. Everybody and their mamas. Grabbed Iron Will and Robust. Yeah. Clearly, those are very good fucking perks, right? Ain't nobody went and grabbed the Hidden Pockets perk. So <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I think, I think a full balance pass across weapons in the game and the perks in the game, bringing things up. So the foundation for adding new shit going forward is at a stable spot, and there's not... I'm just going to say it. Longsword has the same on-hit slow as fucking Magic Staff still. It has 2% more on-hit slow than the Cast Inland Dagger. It has eight less on hit slow than the next closest two hand weapon. Shit like that's an issue. Like straight up, it's an issue. Gang. It's wild. 
Yeah, stuff like the Horseman Axe having the same move speed penalty as a a two-hand longsword, shit like that. I don't get that. Minus 30, dude. Wild. Yeah. Wild. Look at Viking Sword compared to Falchion. Holy shit. Falchion is in the same exact role it feels like it should be, and Falchion is like three times the damage in DPS. It's it's wild. Better reach, better sour spot, better attack pattern, better on hit slow, better attack slow. Better and ingredients swords like that. Papa John's. It, <laughs> it's, it's wild, dude. And it's just like, I think a lot of the barb weapons suffer because of fucking buff ball, dude. So... Do you think barb weapons suffer because of buff ball? That's yeah. what I mean, I think I mean, a lot of barb weapons suffer just because of move speed penalties and swing speed penalties in general. Like honestly. using a two handed weapon, like swinging a bardiche or like let's say a battle axe or a double axe. Must it be feel- wrong, bro. It's called a war mall. You got one option if you want to really own. Ugh. Just swinging you know I mean? that shit yeah. makes me feel like I have a weight suit on underwater. It's, it it does not feel fair. good. It, I think it yeah, feels terrible. Yeah, I leveled terrible. Barb up for multi-classing, and I grabbed the Battle Axe. And, hey, I won't lie, Battle Axe bad boy right here. I, that's my favorite Barb weapon. Straight up. Really? It's terrible. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> it's, it's because, yeah, no, Battle Axe has a similar attack time for the longsword. The wind-up and attack pattern mm. has a similar duration, so it, it really flowed well when I was fighting with it and spacing. But it has... Worse reach than the falchion, goddammit. Same with the double X. There's a reason every barb and their mothers is running this Vihander. It's because it has... The, it's got double the reach. If you get on someone, you'll stick on them. If you get on and someone with a double X, you ain't getting on them, dude. Yeah, it's the wind-up, yeah. the startup manipulation on Zvihander is wildly better than everything else. Yeah, Zvi is good. I think it's... And the battle X and double X are too feet. short. Yeah, it goes has a long way, dude. Range. So... Man. That there's just a lot in the game with the weapons, and I was just perusing the wiki, looking at the comparisons. I'm like, dude, this is crazy. These weapons are just wildly, wildly out of comparison with each other. Like, right. and and like, just falchion's an outlier. It's been an outlier forever, and arming swords are not even that far behind it, because arming swords probably better because its attack pattern is honestly probably the best in the game. So Your damage meta for sure. Yeah, it's yeah. it's and it's so fast. A lot of decks. With an arming sword, yep. especially with something like yep. counterattack like, I mean, and shield mastery, dude, you can yep. bust out a hit on someone so fucking quickly if you have high dex. Yeah, for sure. Have you guys noticed, like, uh, in the character sheet when you're looking at your weapons combo, that it actually displays like slashing, thrusting, and blunt damage for your attacks? Yep. And mm-hmm. I just thought, like, if they could expand on that and make it so, like, blunt weapons just have an intrinsic armor penetration value. Thrusting weapons have a lesser but still intrinsic armor penetration value, and then slashing weapons just do more damage base but have less armor penetration, period. Like, they just don't have any intrinsic right. armor pen. Then you could balance the weapons around that, and maybe Falchion suddenly isn't the god weapon. Like, you can play around the arming sword third stab, right? Everyone hates it because it sucks, but it's a stab. It penetrates armor. Like, stuff like that makes the game more, True. like, complex and hmm. increases the skill yeah. cap, in my opinion. Yeah, that's No, good that's idea. a good one. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like that. Yeah, a, like a clear difference between piercing, bludgeoning, slashing. Even within an attack pattern. Why, why have it in the character sheet if they're not going to add it eventually, right? To the, mm-hmm. For sure. Begin with. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think there's, a, there's a lot of stuff that's still like mysterious or a bit of an enigma. Like even looking at the inventory screen, like there's chunks of the inventory that are just empty and meaningless all these months later, right? right? I think uh, there's several things up Iron Mesa's sleeve that we... We don't know about yet. All right. I got to do it again. I'm sorry. What you got? Before you go to Q&A, putting a repost on the other weapons in the game that have blocks. I had a couple people comment when I commented on it. They had some cool ideas. Like, spear block has a butt hit, right? The butt attack. Rather than, like, a spear stab for the repost, it does a butt hit, and it has a knockback effect. Spears taken, vi- Spears taken mainly on what class? The class that doesn't want people on top of them needs some spacing, right? Bardish getting a block and a chop, quarterstaff, a one-two attack would be cool. Anything that incentivizes more of the classes to have options like the longsword that's fun to play around, I think would help incentivize a lot of people to, hey, fuck it, I got this quarterstaff, I'm going to go try and beat this guy with his fucking Bardish because we're going to have a parry duel and it's going to be cool. Rather than I'm going to run away throwing everything in my fucking pockets at him, and and my bow 
and then run away screaming, Mama, save me. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I think if every weapon in the game uh, had its own unique thing or like a like an Elden Ring, Dark Souls type weapon art, if you will. Like, that'd be like fucking Raker awesome. Chambering. What's that? Raper Chamber. Raper Chamber. <laughs> Chamber where you catch the weapon or whatever, you know. Mm. On a rapier, it makes sense, isn't that why they have the little handle thing covering your hand? Right. It's a cool idea. I thought that's what rapiers did. Yeah, Yeah, I mean, like, uh, let's see here. Like, if quarter, if you could parry or pass the quarter staff, if you could with the double axe, I don't know, do like a a back swing. I don't know. I'm just making shit up. But if every if every weapon in the game had its own unique thing, like Longsword has with Perry Repost, I think that mm-hmm. would be incredible for the game. I think it'd be very cool. Um, I think people would sort of find their niche or their build a little easier. Like right. uh, like I think one thing that I still don't have is like a identity in the game. I I hop around between a, a few classes still. Like Jay is known as the wizard guy. Sparky is a long sword using lizard fighter, right? Like people like repose as is, is a rogue, right? Like some uh, like several players and a lot of people have identity within the game, whereas I don't. And I think maybe if there was a specific weapon, and typically it's long sword, but if there was more opportunities, more choices where I could really pick something, a path that I could go down and sort of identify myself with that thing i think that'd be a very healthy aspect for the game a very good thing for the game and i think it'd be great for a lot of people yeah i I would love to see more shit like that absolutely yeah you got you seen the the lantern shield right lantern shield what's lantern shield yeah Yeah, the data mine yeah that's a data mine one yeah we did one with the with the dagger on it it's gonna have a repost probably it looks like yeah shield with a repost injects a little dagger I, be man, fun. I'm oh, talking. Yeah. I, I, just, just I would love to see all the shield the shields get reworked, man. I want Buckler to have a little shield punch as a repost on it. Does a little does no damage, <laughs> minimal damage, has a debuff, like an action speed debuff, so you can play like a a debuff swashbuckler with, with the fucking buckler, put it on some more of the classes. Round shield has the shield bash or something instead. Peter shields the tanky shield. Yeah. If they're gonna add another small shield that has a repost that deals damage, it'd be cool to have one that plays around a debuff playstyle. And they could put that on the buckler. That'd be cool. I like that. Give shields more value. Give shields something fun to use rather than just stat sticks. Fat stat sticks. Hmm. Normalize repose window timing. Oh, yeah. please. Normalize <laughs> repose window timing. Hmm. Uh, please. Iron Hammer. <laughs> we go. Like? We go in my chest. Pairing so. a dagger. Pairing yeah, a rapier. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. You you have to hit two skill checks when you parry the hardest weapons in the game to parry because the timing <laughs> to initiate the repost is, yeah. you know, you got to be an Olympic sprinter or a contestant to hit a home run in a fucking MLB game. 250 milliseconds <laughs> and it gets reduced by your action speed because you recover faster. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. It's wild, dude. Trying to, parry, trying to parry a dagger and then hit a repost when I had 40% action speed was... We were testing it just to see if it was doable at the start of me and my buddy running one time and... I could not do it, even knowing he was attacking me. Mm. It was <laughs> wild. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, Wika said, no new shields, no thanks. Shields don't even work. Yeah, I think that's... I would <laughs> yeah. love to see okay. just a True. general update to shields. Like, whenever you fucking raise your shield all the way up and you're pointing at the fucking ceiling and that goddamn axe skelly is bringing that axe on you and you watch <laughs> that axe head fucking phase through the shield like Man, goddamn it's, kitty it's, pride it's, and the x-men you're just like what yeah. the fuck just happened there's two there's two weapons skellies this the zweihander have a section on their weapon that isn't physicalized yeah. i can reliably go up to it and miss with the long sword period skinny so you can do it reliably and there's a section in the middle of the axe skeleton that you can also reliably aim through and miss you always have to have the axe head caught with the shield or the long sword or whatever you're blocking with or yeah. it will hit you because the half of that weapon on the animation isn't physicalized at all. Yeah, like I don't even mind if a big weapon hits me as I'm blocking and like I, I take a little bit of damage because it hits a limb or it hits my mm-hmm. arm or something like that. That's fine. But when I see the sword or the axe head phase through the shield, <laughs> actually go it's through it like a knife through face. butter and then hit me, 
when it should be registering a block, that bothers me significantly. <laughs> yeah, but it's been like that since fucking the earliest play tests, right? So yeah. Uh, what, do you, yeah. what do you think of weapon hitboxes spawning inside the shield to bypass your shield entirely? Oh, thrusting weapons are yeah. Oh, the yeah, thrusting weapons that. are notorious for it, dude. Yeah. All the th- you can do it with long sword, you do it with every thrusting weapon. Yeah. yeah. I, I feel like that? the uh the weapons maybe no. they gotta be physical during their wind up, maybe, dude. Because they're not they're really not, so you can but notice that it even with lot. like beasts, even when you're like fighting a wolf or a demon dog, like they yeah. they thrust forward and you put your shield yeah, up. They're, a lot of yeah, time their exact. fucking dumb nose goes right to the shield and yeah. fucking bites your balls. Yeah, you're like, sure. what the fuck's the point of the sh- yep. the block? Yeah. You know, the attack duration <laughs> isn't started up until like they have a wind up as well, just like we do all the mobs in the game. And the attack isn't physicalized until a certain part. It's one of the issues with the giant shields and parrying the giant shield dudes. Like you can just watch the mm. longsword go through the entire length and you get hit in the face. Yeah. Like, Motherfucker. Is that a fake shield? No, it's just because <laughs> until the very end of the animation, it's not physical. So and that's how yeah, a lot that's, of weapons that- are too. That was weird now that you say it. That is very weird. Hmm. All right, I'm wondering if it's like, if you would drag your weapon on the wall, would it like get caught? If it was like that, you know? Hmm. Maybe that's why they don't do it or something? I don't really know. Yeah, it would, it would be kind of hard for a lot of the horizontal weapons, I feel like. Swinging its Vihander would be pretty difficult. More warm off, even Falchion. Falchion's already like so difficult pro- for people. Probably should be. Right. Yeah. It should be. I think you're right. <clears throat> Demon Souls weapon bounce from walls. Basically if you're <laughs> within an area code of a wall, you just hit the wall and bounce off. <laughs> Man. What a throwback. It just makes me think of the the I don't know what game it is, but it's a Souls game where he's got the pointy hat on going down the ladder and it's like ding 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 ding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the no, best that's clip good, in though. history, dude. That's good. That's not so a lot of games. Think today, about it, you know? dude. Darker Darker <laughs> really does kind of feel like first person PvP, like Dark Souls a little bit. A little bit. Like some of the mechanics. Uh, yeah. Yep. Oh, there's like no the thing. Yeah, there's like no weapon cancel. I guess you can't roll in Darker Darker, but God, imagine they add that in. Like everyone had like a an, like an inherent tumble type thing. Yeah, that'd be crazy. Yeah. No, I think it was think so much fun playing with backstep. Just, yeah, I think it should just become a mechanic. I'm not yeah, even joking. Yeah, dude, backstep was so fun during multi classing. <laughs> just make it like a directional dodge, where you just take like one quick step. You know, I feel like that's not too much with a cooldown. Not crazy. Yeah. So there's yeah, like a little bit of a cooldown yeah. or something yeah, with like a that. little cooldown. Yeah, of course. Kite and kiter cool. could be even worse, but okay, know. maybe. I just mean, don't have it when you got a weapon like a range weapon now. <laughs> on hit slow, <laughs> just on hit slow. Got to yeah, go on range weapons, bad. man. Oh. Easy that fix. Kind of bad. Easy all right, fix. I got to the damage on all ranged, man. I got a good last question. Man. What should be the next skin? The next player skin. What would you guys like Dwarf. to see? Dwarf, really? Mm. Okay. <laughs> nightmare lizard. I think. What did you okay. say? A hot girl lizard? No, I said nightmare lizard. <laughs> oh, I thought you said a hot girl lizard. I'm like, Jesus. Hot girl okay, lizard. Settle down there, Sparky. Oh, my God. <laughs> hot lizard summer. Hot lizard summer. Okay, we got Nightmare lizard, you guys, though. Okay, nightmare you think lizard. it's crazy they added the frost walker, though? I feel like now anything's on the table. I think it's cool now as you fuck. You can become a fucking white walker. <laughs> yeah. I think that's. I think it's great. I n- I, I never cool expected too, that. Yeah. I did not see that coming. Yeah, never expected either. it. Now that it's a thing, you're right. It opens up the floodgates and opens up so many fucking badass possibilities. Like holy fuck, I'd be a skull bat one day. I'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> Just no, a floating not. head. Skull bat. Yeah. You're in full plate. Got the skull bat head. <laughs> you got wings on <laughs> your ears. <laughs> Durple worm Dude. says plot twist. It's cat girl. That's that's the skin he cat wants. Girl. Cat girl. Uh, uh, yeah, man. Oh. Who it was thought? already data mine, dude. It's the freaking lichen. Oh. Oh, yeah. Did, yeah, yeah. did Ryan. Damn it. Oh. All right, after the lichen. How about Freezer. after the lichen? No. Tommy yeah. said tiefling in your chat, and I think that tiefling? would be cool. A demon type. Isn't that a, demon type isn't that a really small? Oh, no. Those, yeah, okay. Yeah, tiefling is like a yeah. humanoid demon looking person with horns. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that would be cool. I'd like that. I, I wouldn't use it because I'm using the bull cut like uh, SDF, you know, but. You think anybody's going to use lichen cool. in High Roller? Depends on what I mean, it does. It gives you got. fucking plus eight strength, yeah. No, it's going to be a movement speed, right? I thought it was the same passive as Lizardman. 
that's gotta be a placeholder. Why would uh, they ever release yeah. another skin with the same exact thing? That's weird. You know? <clears throat> I would move think it's speed. placeholder too. Please no. Moving please. speed makes sense though, man. Isn't the Hummer Frostwalker hole. minus move speed? Give me like a uh, damage. Give me like enhanced That's unarmed Ranger damage. Or Skelly. Like oh, if right. I punch you, gotcha. I can like hit you with my claws. You know, that'd be fun. Yeah, I like that. Like more like increased unarmed damage as a lichen. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, a like cool that. idea. Yeah, that's a cool idea. Then we can for meme lichens build. later. That's kind of cool. Yep. That's a cool idea. Frostwalker should fart when you hit it. <laughs> 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 that's actually a really cool idea. Zombie skin, like the, the toxic zombie. That'd mm. be kind of cool. That's a Frostwalker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine like the yeah. the stinky farter. Just the version. normal one. Yeah. Barb with a stinky stick and Frostwalker. Let's stinky go. Stick. Oh yeah, <laughs> dude, that'd be so fucking awesome. Meme builds, baby. You have the That's stinky zombie skin builds, with a man. with a fucking stinky stick. That'd be. Sh that'd be it only shit. makes sense. <laughs> that'd be awesome. Hell yeah. Um. Yeah, I think uh, now that we see the Frostwalker as a skin, man, the possibilities really have opened up, which I think is a good thing. Um. Gents, we are an hour and 45 in. It's almost 8 o'clock. I haven't eaten dinner yet. I'm starving. I know Donnie probably wants to go eat food too. Oh, huh, Donnie, you hungry? Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. I'm brother. hungry. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh, so, why don't we call it here? This is a great one. Um, no episode next week. I will be out of town in LA for work. So no D and D next week, no podcast next week. But <laughs> oh wait, are you going to the thing then? What? SDF? Cannot confirm or deny. Uh, well, it's he already then. spilled the fucking. He's go, he said he's going out of town for. Work. I just said I'm going, going out of town. <laughs> what if I'm North Dakota? What if I'm going for something else? You never know. Where is I'm going to go bowling? Games <laughs> Fest located. Maybe I'm going to go bowling. You never know. <laughs> L A. Interesting. <laughs> YouTube theater. Hmm. But I will say we yeah, will so be. You gotta double check that NDA, bro. There's nothing to talk <laughs> about. It's okay. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I just happen to be flying somewhere. Um, yeah, for work. We will be back though on June 11th for a full episode live chat Q and A with just me, Donnie, and Jay. That'll be on Tuesday the 11th. The new, the new wipe, dude. Nice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Right, right after the new cool. white pits, a few days later, we'll we'll have just an episode with us, which will be cool. Oh. And then I am working on trying to get uh, Mr. Co Carnage on sometime in June, which I think would be dope. Oh yeah, get the uh, hold the line uh, guys back not, on. Hasn't he not played since like the play test though? Um, no, he's he's definitely played it since the play test. I mean, it's Co. He's a variety guy, so he plays so many fucking games. But whenever I talk, yeah, I, I, I had a drink with him at, at uh, GDC a couple months ago, and we talked about Dark and Darker for like a good 20 minutes. He fucking loves the game. He thinks it's going to be successful. He's very mm. bullish about it. Ko is a talent scout for A16Z now, which is uh, essentially a... Um, uh, an org or something? It's, a, or it's like an investor organization, right? Like a fund. So he... He is helping that fund find developer talent, you know, gaming talent, uh, coders, developers, shit like that. So he's gotcha. constantly on the lookout for cool new indie projects, and he loves Dark and Darker. So I think uh, mm. having his perspective on that side of the fence and hearing his thoughts on the game and, and whatnot would be really cool. And Co's just a badass guy. Yeah. He's just a sweet guy. You know, he's really cool. Uh, but yeah. That's what we're kind of looking at. We'll see if we can get him on. Good in, show. In, exactly. We'll see if we can get him on in June. Yeah. If not, maybe later on in the summer. But uh, the, all that being said, Augie, Sparky, you guys are beautiful. Thank you for joining. Well, thank you for Hell having yeah. me. Yeah, thank you, guys. You guys have me on a lot, like you said, so I appreciate it Hell every yeah. time, man. It's always fun. Of course, buddy. We love you're, having you. You're a friend of the pod, and now you are as well, Sparky. So we'll have, well, you, thank you. We'll have you both on again. Uh, Augie, where can people find you on the internet? Mm, just Augie Sun, YouTube, okay. and Twitch. So nowhere else. Beautiful. Mr. Sparky? Uh, Sparky Kawa on Twitch and YouTube. Hell yeah. Is that how you say it? Kawa? Yes. Sparky Kawa. Damn, everyone calls you Kawa, bro. Kawa. Oh, well. You can call me Sparky. We're friends now. Yeah. 
Okay, thanks, man. <laughs> Call Big sparks. Baby. I'm, I'm still running the blue blue lizard. Blue lizard gang. <laughs> <laughs> uh, find you. You're not converting me, bro. <laughs> Donnie, where can people find you on the internet? Yeah, you can find me uh, twitch.tv slash Donnie. I stream sometimes, so check me out there. I have some old YouTube videos. Check those out, to, uh, those out too. Beautiful. Mr. Griffia. Twitch, Twitter, YouTube at J Griffia. You using that Twitter, dude? Fuck no, I haven't tweeted in like three months. <laughs> Good. I do not know what to say. Stand on top of the ball. Good shit. Yep. Good growth That's and development right. there. Nice. Of course. Um, Ski Master Slum God followed me. It's our, I already peaked. Doesn't matter. Are oh, you good then? <laughs> um, I am at Soma on everything except YouTube, which is at underscore Soma. You can watch our fifth edition D and D campaign on the YouTube channel or this podcast. Uh, and that's Monday and Tuesdays. Beyond that, that's really it. So, I guess have a good rest of your week. Enjoy the, uh, I guess, the, the wipe at the end of next week, and we will reconvene on Tuesday the 11th to talk about it and hang out again. Until then, take it easy. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>